Here, I have an American alligator. Her scientific name is Alligator Mississippiensis. This particular species is found in southeastern United States with a large population in Florida. She is one of two species of alligator in the world. The other is located in China. This alligator, specifically, is only four and a half feet long. However, in their lifetime, they can get up to 14, with the largest recorded being 19 feet 2 inches. You can see that her skin is covered in these rough, bony scales called osteoderms for protection. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, she's a little rowdy right now, but she'll calm down as we go along. Her nostrils are located at the tip of her snout, which is good for her because she can submerge her body entirely underwater and wait for prey and still be able to breathe. At any given moment, she has up to 80 teeth in her mouth, and because their teeth are replaceable, she can go through about 2,000 or 3,000 in her lifetime. As crocodilians go, the male of this species are very interesting due to his breeding habits. He's a very vocal alligator, and they call to females during the mating season, which is not common in crocodilians. The female can produce clutches of 20 to 50 eggs, and they're sex determined by temperature. Although in turtles, it's usually females are produced at hotter temperatures and males at colder temperatures, in alligators, both cold and hot temperatures produce females, and at moderate, at moderate temperatures, males are produced. Hatchlings occur in June and July, and when they hatch out, they're about seven inches long. As you can see, an alligator is an apex predator. They're on the top of the food chain in any environment they're in, and they usually eat anything from fish, other reptiles, amphibians, and mammals, including mice, rats, deer, and when available, cattle. You can tell an alligator apart from a crocodile by the presence of their rounded snout, Alligator, alligators have a rounded snout and crocodiles have a more triangular snout. You can also tell by their teeth. Crocodiles have a large fourth tooth on the lower jaw that protrudes when their mouth is closed and alligators do not. A last interesting fact about this particular species is that although they're classified among the reptilia, their closest living, their closest living ancestors are actually birds as they share common ancestors dating back to the dinosaurs. And that is an American alligator. <laughs>